HO scale and its variants have been the most popular scale in model railroading for a long, long, long time. But N-scale has chipped away at its dominance. Will N-scale eventually become the most popular scale in model railroading? Today I'm giving you three reasons why it could and three reasons why it won't on coffee and trains. Welcome everybody to another edition of Coffee and Trains. Before we begin, I am drinking Hunter Brothers Guatemala Antigua, and as always, I take it black with two sugars. So first of all, real quick, you can see my layouts up on its side behind me, or at least this section of it. I'm doing some wiring stuff for Monday's video, so be sure to check that out. So back to HO scale versus N scale. HO scale has been the dominant scale in model railroading, including all of its variants, whether it's OO scale, uh, HON3, all of those have been the most dominant scale in model railroading. But in scale has steadily improved and has begun to eat away at that dominance. So today we're going to do three reasons why in scale could replace HO scale and three reasons why it couldn't. And we're going to start with the three reasons why it could. The first reason why in scale could replace HO scale is that manufacturing techniques for in scale have greatly improved. And what I'm talking about here is that the detail on in scale models has greatly improved, but not just that. We're also talking about the motors that are used in in scale models. Even since I was a kid and I did in scale models, the control and the motors that you have have become so much better in in scale models they were kind of loud and herky-jerky when i was a kid and now they are very very smooth running and you also have a ton of new features that used to be only with ho scales particularly with dcc models so you're seeing a lot of those features be able to be put into smaller in scale models so all of the manufacturing techniques that are used to make in-scale models have greatly improved and are really bringing them on par with HO scale models. My number two reason is that space is at a premium for most model railroaders. The bottom line is that the larger scales, HO scale and up, simply take up more space. You're not gonna be able to get as much trackage for the scale as you would with the smaller scales. And that's just, I mean, that's, that's pretty obvious. And what you also have to think about is that you can get more out of your model railroad in your space with in scale. You can get more scenery in it. You can get more industries in it. You can get larger industries in it and you can get more track run in it. And last but not least, you can also think about that newer model railroaders with space at a premium, they may just go straight to in scale. Now, when I got back into the hobby, I actually started off in HO scale, but I had space issues and decided to switch over to in scale. But new model railroaders may decide to just go straight to in scale for the space issues. My third reason that in scale could replace HO scale is that cost has come down a lot for in scale. When I was a kid, in scale was more expensive because the smaller models were more difficult to manufacture and there was less of a demand for them, so manufacturers would charge more for them. Now, with the higher demand for in scale and the manufacturing techniques becoming cheaper, in scale has really become comparable to HO scale in terms of price. A lot of the stuff costs the same, which makes sense. They're not going to make it cheaper simply because it takes less materials because it still takes the same manufacturing and making molds and things like that. But really most in scale models that are new are going to cost the same as HO scale models now. And that's really a sign of the improved manufacturing techniques. But the cost is now pretty comparable. It's honestly, I I don't see much of a difference anymore. It may be a few dollars here and there, but it's really, really similar now. Now for three reasons why HO scale probably will not be usurped by N scale. The first one is manufacturer support. The bottom line is that manufacturers make a lot more HO scale products than in scale products still, even with the popularity of in scale now, manufacturers still make primarily HO scale stuff. Now, when I say primarily, it's, it's not a huge majority, but there's still a sizable majority there. And not only do manufacturers who make both make more HO scale products than in scale products, but 
I will say also Kato is an exception for that because they are primarily an in-scale uh, manufacturer right there. But also there are a lot more just HO scale manufacturers versus just in-scale manufacturers. So there's a lot more manufacturer support for HO scale versus in scale. And for that to change, it's really an expensive investment because you're talking about building more molds. You're talking about doing all sorts of things to gear up a more in scale manufacturing. So I don't see that changing anytime in the near future. So HO scale manufacturing is going to be dominant for a while over in scale manufacturing. My second and third reason are actually kind of the same reason but it's for different reasons and i'm talking about the size now ho scale is a good solid size and when you look at n scale it's still a good size but it's really at the smaller end of the manageable size for doing work on it for the masses and there's going to be people who just don't want to work on models that small that don't want to work with a super tiny detail products that don't want to worry about dropping the tiny screws and not being able to find them. I'm speaking to that from experience. Now, obviously it's still, it's gotten better and you can use tools to help you out with that. But there are a lot of people in our hobby who don't do in scale because of its size and because of it's tough to mess with when it comes to parts and things like that. My number three reason, which is the other size based reason is now this is purely my opinion and this is something that can vary a lot model railroader to model railroader. But in my opinion, the reason that HO scale became the most popular scale around is because it is literally the perfect sized scale. And what I mean by that is that it's big enough to where you can do a lot of detail work and you can do a lot of cool things but it's small enough to where a lot of people do have space for some sort of HO scale set up in their house. And it's really hard to compete with that. You know, originally when I got back into the hobby, I had an HO scale layout and it was for that reason is that it's literally just the perfect scale to work with. I love being able to, to hold a car in my hands and being able to do work on it, to be able to do some serious detail on buildings and actually be able to see really into the nooks and crannies to do detail. So HO scale really is the perfect size. And I think in a perfect world, I probably would say that HO scale is going to be what everyone has. Actually, in a perfect world, everybody's going to have a huge warehouse and we're all going to have G scale, but that's a whole different issue. But I think a lot of us in scalers also would probably, if we had the space, would have HO scale. Now, one thing quickly that I want to mention is that there is a compromise between HO scale and N scale, and that is TT gauge. And that is 101, 120th, and it is a European gauge, and it is literally smack dab in the middle between HO and N. And the bottom line is that there's, I can't find anything with American rolling stock or the motive power or a manufacturer. It's all um, European and I wish that I could because that really seems like the perfect compromise. I know quite a lot of you have said on comments when I do videos about scales that try TT gauge and you know it's gonna get to the point where I may just order something to just try out TT gauge just because I'm so intrigued by it but TT gauge is the perfect compromise that I cannot get my hands on right now. <laughs> So those are three reasons why N-Scale could replace HO scale as the most popular and three reasons why it probably won't. I would love to hear what you guys think about this. Leave that in the comments below. I also want to hear what your favorite scale is because let's be honest, we all love all scales of model railroads, including all of the little tiny ones and all of the really, really big ones. But we all have our favorites, and I would love to hear that from you. You can leave that in the comments below. Let's go ahead and get into some of the coffees that you guys are drinking. Michael Fister says that my videos, he says your videos, go awesome with his French roast. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I may have to start drinking more French roast while I'm recording this to see if they go just as well. Brian Page, Model Train, says that he is drinking Black Rifle Company Company's Power Llama Black. I do love me some Black Rifle Coffee Company, and I love black coffee, except I have a little bit of sugar in mine. 
they make it like that. Great detail on Weathering Channel, by the way. Uh, says that he is drinking a latte made on the Keurig Cafe machine. I do love a good latte, I'm not going to lie. Well, thank you guys so, so much for watching. It's an absolute blast. I can't wait to see the comments on this one because I feel like there's going to be a lot of opinions on this one. So I also want to say a big thank you to all of my patrons. They are listed right here. You can become a patron for as little as $1 a month. A lot of cool things going on there. A lot of things that they get to see in advance of what's coming out on the channel. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Stay safe, be kind, drink some coffee, and happy railroading.